First of all, can I thank the organizers of this rally for inviting me to speak and all of you for coming along today. I'm absolutely proud that our union, our union supports your campaign. You know, I want to bring to you a very strong message of solidarity and support from our members across Britain and Ireland. We understand that it's not migrants who lower wages. It's greedy and scrupulous bosses who are to blame. We understand, we understand that a country is far, far better because we have migrants over here. We understand that if it wasn't for all of you, we wouldn't be able to deliver the social and health care that we have in our country. It's the Tories and their austerity which are destroying our NHS, yes. not migrants. Yes. Yes. And we, we understand that as working people, we have far more in common with each other than we have with bosses. Yes. And that's why I am proud to be here today, standing shoulder to shoulder with you. And you know, it's ironic, isn't it? The Daily Mail and their hate on migrants. They've been running this vile campaign for years, saying that you, you are responsible for lower wages. Well, you know what's happened over the last couple of days? The people who clean their offices, predominantly migrants, are actually turning on the culprits of the low wages, the owners of the Daily Mail, because they're going to be going on strike, on strike for higher wages. And that's what we need. We need more action. Getting people together to campaign for migrant rights, but also for workers' rights. Because you know, I am proud to be the son of a migrant. I'm also proud to be a migrant myself. When my dad emigrated to Gibraltar from Spain in the 1960s, Spain was a dictatorship. He came over to Gibraltar because there was a better life awaiting for him. And there were jobs to be done and they needed his labor. Yet, he wasn't treated very well upon arrival. And it was a struggle, a struggle for him, even though he married a local woman, to get any kind of permanent residence in Gibraltar. I'll never forget that, growing up, growing up, not knowing what the status of my, of my dad was from one day to the next. And you have to be a warped, cruel individual to be playing, to be playing with the lives of people in this country, like the Tories have been doing over the last few years since that Brexit referendum. I say to them, we are drawing a line in the sun. No more will you take advantage of working people. We are uniting, irrespective of national background, color, creed, sexual orientation, or any other barrier that you want to put in front of us to divide us. We are about coming together to create a better world. And that means a world without borders. Thank you very much.